we have successfully escaped Emperor Kallus' grasp. After pushing deep into Cabal territory on Neo Muna, we stumbled upon something known as the Radial Mass, which could have been used to destroy the Veil. Unfortunately, we could not destroy it and were forced to flee with our tails between our legs. We were then told to rendezvous with Osiris in the Hall of Heroes. So, Osiris, what do you have for us? Forces will help push back advances. We've done nothing but waste time. I understand. But I cannot lose you again in your eagerness to fight. It is not the same as before. I am contemplating your most recent outburst with Strand to see if there are opportunities for improvement. It was out of control. We did the best we could. We need to do better! We don't know what Callus and the Witness want, but if it will have an effect on us all... I, I, I can't allow that to happen. I must ponder more on these strands. You should consult with the Cloud Striders to consider what our next steps could be. Osiris. I'm fine, Ghost. I'll be fine. Go on. Okay, Crybaby still salty about losing his powers. Attempting to check in on my physical and psychological status. You do that kind of thing often? He and Saint and Ikora are concerned for my safety. As if no longer carrying the light as I did has transformed me instantly into a fragile elder. Sounds like they care about you, old bird. It's sure rough to be stuck with supportive friends, huh? I imagine from your perspective I must seem terribly ungrateful. You know, when I first got the pulse of mods, I was making friends on the ground every five minutes. It takes a second to find your balance sometimes. So it does. I appreciate the reminder. You know the line when he was talking about him just being a fragile old man and him being ungrateful? I... Like, to be honest, Osiris' entire character never really screamed grateful from the start. Well, then again, if you read the law books, then sure, maybe there are more instances for that. But like, when we were first introduced to him, look, he saw Ikora, never really thanked her, and just went back into the infinite forest. So like, is that... Does that scream grateful to you? I don't think so, considering the fact that we basically saved him. I could be misremembering things, so you could clarify in the comment sections. That Kyle. She's something else, huh? Well, look, I was rooting for us. Really, I was. There's no greater joy for me than doing something Rohan would call incredibly reckless. He'll shake his head and say his little catchphrase. Nimbus, headlong and empty-handed. I'm sure you heard it. It's shorthand for, hey kid, stop trying to do it all yourself. We're partners for a reason. And if I screw up and things go south, well, we'll fix them together. The cloud arc is still vulnerable. If we can cycle the power, a hard reset like that should kick things back into gear. It's just, this hard reset is deep in Vex territory, and that's where you come in. Osiris and Rohan can go process their differences over some fermented tea or whatever. We're off to go protect the people of Neomuna. I love this guy's simple logic. Right, next mission. Also, these people are incredibly tall and ripped. Okay, where do I go for the next mission? Ugh, can't fast travel there, can I? And I don't, yeah, I don't assume this is the next mission. 
Okay, I need to travel there. Great. Well, I'll cut here and continue when I actually do arrive at that place, so be right back. All right. Rohan, I think we're still a little fuzzy here. What exactly is the Cloud Arc? It's our city's network. Our infrastructure, our people, our defenses. Everything depends on it. And what we're doing now is stopping the Vex from siphoning energy from the Cloud Arc's reactor. If you do that, the mail's safe, then the Amuni are safe. Bing, bang, boom. Targarina's on Rohan. Make your way to the Cloud Arc reactor. We'll head to the central power junction. Once you've cycled the system, We'll be able to return power to the reactor. We're on it. I should switch this to the four bullet burst. It's much better. I'm doing it right now. Second. There you go. <laughs> what? More strand. Wyvern. Okay, watch it. I didn't think that would work, actually. Well, as a titan, there's nothing you can't do, Just so... so. Clear, if the Cloud Arc is lost, what does that mean for the Neo Moon? All our citizens have uploaded their consciousness into the Cloud Arc. No Cloud Arc means lights out for everyone in Neo Moon. Ah, so it's bad. Got it. Hey, what? Oh. That's another one of those pockets of darkness. Should we get a closer look? Grapple long distance can be used to reach location beyond range of the guidance. Traditional movement capabilities coming and jumping, grapple across. Oh, so those are what those things were. Sweet. Hey, at least I don't die. You would think that the, the guard, as a guardian, you would die when you slam into this at such high speed. You know, architects? I hey, think... Worked that time. Why did it work that time? Huh. It's like you're pulling on some kind of invisible ropes. Yes, I'm yes. I'm detecting those sources as a concentration of energy coming from a common source. It's got to be the veil. Like some sort of magnetic field all around Neomuna. Let's keep an eye out for more of those. Okay. But 
like what I was saying. Oh, you destroyed the door here. But like what I was saying, right? So I would think that the reason why the architects was nerfed so that you don't die when you slam to the wall. Which makes sense. Heavy wave frame. That's interesting. And dangerous. What the? Okay, that's really overpowered if that's the case. For Ad Clear at least. Now that is hot, dude. What the? Oh, misadventure. Okay. Well, sometimes you play with fire and you get burned. <sighs> Unfortunate. But really powerful, this grenade launcher. I like it. What was that, dude? Loot. Sweet. Yeah, more upgrade modules. All right, with that out of the way, let's go. Finish it. Sweet. Now what? Oh. Guardian, I'm almost at the central power junction. Ready to fly. 
What the? Okay. Hold on. These vets are short circuiting voluntarily. Ah, okay. You'll have to clean up those vets complexes before heading to the reactor. We haven't observed this kind of behavior before. Hope you're taking notes, Nimbus. What the hell was robot dance? Yeah, I've seen it before. It's gotta be a way for them to create a gateway to the cloud work. Or from the soul, emotionally, um, can say Whoops. Ivan's got to go first because they can protect other Vex, so I always try to aim for them first. Is unbelievable. Earth was decades away from technology like this, even during the Golden Age. The Cloud Arc needs a lot of juice. Like we said earlier, it supports all the Neo Mooney, the city's defenses, and also the Veil's defenses. Once we get that power, we'll have all the backup we need to take back the Veil from Kalan. That's good. We're going to need all the help we can get. I'll try not to die too many times unnecessarily. I need the ammunition. Anti barrier weapons working in magic, as always. Never gets old. Um, no. Build this.
Oopsies, oopsies, whoa. Mm, 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 nope. Okay. I'm in place, and I can see you're coming up to the reactor. Stop the Vex from siphoning the station, and we're golden. I love the architecture they've done of this place, honestly. A lot of effort, definitely, put in. I mean, <clears throat> a lot of effort put into designing all of this. All the intricate uh, details, the specific ways that you need to travel. I assume we can just walk out the door and we have to fight. So I will anyways. Unless there's a timer, then yes, I know instantly that we're supposed to run and not fight. Aha. Not so simple, are we?
One of those paracausal strands. Probably the best chance we've got to get out of here. Let's fly. Yeah, we're not getting out of here until we kill those. I don't know how good these are on tormentors. Someone's a little pissed off. Whoa. What is that? Am I stuck? I was. Try and focus them one at a time. My god, they can cut supers. I forget, I forget, I forget. Okay, this is rough. This is rough. I may need to switch heavy weapons if that's the case because this is the grain launcher is definitely not a DPS option for bosses like this. Oh, you're mine, dude. You're mine. Great. Wrong side.
Well, he's angry. Oof. You know, when I was talking about the architectures, now I think this is also another reason. The knockback on these guys are pretty good. Let go. Good boy. Okay. Now right. What, bro? Wait, what? Oh, I thought, why did the respawn restricted noise kick in? I was like, uh, okay. Well, let's see if there's any cutscene. If there is any cutscene, then I'll let it play before I end the video. Paracausal superposition? Like magnetic pole. You've been busy. Well? For so long, we saw dark and light as antagonists. We believed we were the champions of the good because we wielded the light. If these are not moral forces, if they are not opposites, what are they? At its root, the Traveler is a terraformer, a, a gardener. It generates natural life, physical transformation at a molecular scale across whole planets. This should have been our first hint. The domain of the light is the domain of the physical. The darkness then is revealed in many facets. Dreams and nightmares, emotions, pain, memory. The nature of Strand confirms this line of thinking. Darkness is something entirely apart from light. A paracausal union, conjoining intangible conscious realities, 
this curse of linking to... You're talking about the River of Souls. River? Yeah. It's a story we tell kids on Neptune. A nursery rhyme. Sort of. Since before history, there's been this raging river. In the story, some try to divert the river. Others try to build a dam. But nothing stops it. Lots of people have believed that we either sink in the water or learn to swim. Don't we? See, that's the real wild part. We are the river. And empowered by it, it would seem. You know, I think I know of a place where we can find some of that power. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.